Um, all right. Well, it is time for our final artist of the night, Lisa Lynch. Are you there? I'm here. Welcome. Welcome to Red's Room for the night. You've kind of been hanging out in the wings. Now I, uh, I've never been last, so I'm like, here I am. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're here. here. Yeah. Glad to be a part of it. There we go. We are on show 272. Uh, for those of you who don't know Lisa, um, she's a Christian singer songwriter from Phoenix, Arizona, where it is hot right now. Um, she is a frequent visitor to the open mic night in Phoenix. Um, she's a recording artist, a piano player, songwriter, and in her spare time works as a school administrative assistant. She also and this is a very important fact that I've recently learned, also knows how to find a good barbecue place. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> right? That's right. That's right. Good barbecue. So, uh, all right. So welcome, Lisa. Really glad that you can be here. Um, so Red just shot a message just seeing if you can turn up the, va the volume just a little bit. Have you, are you able to turn that up for us just a smidge? Mm. Or bring the microphone closer. <laughs> like bring the microphone closer. I haven't there we go. Out exactly how to do all that other, but um, I will. That's perfect. Sing it louder. I don't know. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with it. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. So, what have you got as uh, your first song for us tonight? Um, my first song is is a song that I wrote in 2020, and it's called "Jesus, I'm Sorry." It is. Um, it's a song that that talks a lot about it's even from a Christian perspective saying, you know what? Um, well, guess what? I messed up again. I know what I'm supposed to do. I know what um, that you love me still. Um, but I just I have to call out the fact that I've hurt you again, God. And um, I the whole song is just a cry out to him and saying, you know what? I messed up and um but I know you love me and I love you. And I just want to go from here. And, you know, when we hurt someone, we want to say we're sorry. So that's what this, this song is all about. Very cool. Yeah. It's called Jesus, I'm Sorry. All right. Take it away. Lisa Lynch right here on Red Room. I 
need you and surrender my heart. Jesus, I'm sorry for putting you on the shelf. only trusting myself Jesus I'm sorry I've hurt you again you call me your child want to forgive my sin you wait on my you long for my voice to cry out, I need you. It surrender my heart. Surrender my heart. Surrender. Lisa Lynch right here on Red's Room. Lisa, thank you so much for that uh, song and for my yes of that. I, um, I really like um, the line in there, I'm sorry, help me to work it out. I kind of like that take on it, right? It's like, yeah. I keep doing this thing. Help, help, help. You got to help me work this thing out because I'm going to keep doing it until I know how to do it better, right? Right. And, you know, we wrestle. We wrestle with things that that are our tripping points. That's different than tipping point. Tripping point. Um, <laughs> yeah. And and a lot of times we we just need him to help us work it out. It's just like a big algebra problem. We need to work it out because he's got the solution. He knows what it is, but we don't quite know the method of how to get there. So he's going to help us with the showing the work, kind of thing. Yeah. In a weird way. I don't know. Yeah, I like it. It's cool. Yeah. Very cool. So, um, how's things in Phoenix? Uh, things in Phoenix are great. Uh, we started yeah. school um, after three weeks of preparation, and there was a lot of preparation. Um, it, it's not as hot as it was two weeks ago, which is thrilling. And, That's great. Um, I, I still wouldn't live anywhere else. I live right by the mountain, and I absolutely love where I live. And so I'll take a little heat because... It's a dry heat. I know that's right. weird to say, but when you're in Mississippi and you're sweating and uh, it's not okay. I, right. I don't want that. I don't want that. So I, yeah. I love it here in Phoenix. It's just been great. And I know um working on a couple different things, but just, just loving life right now. So yeah. Very cool. And maybe uh maybe we can hear a little about some of the things you're working on as as we go tonight. That'd be cool. Um, have you got a second song for us coming up? I do. I do. I have a song that I wrote. Um, oh, I guess it's been two weeks now ago that I wrote this. Um, I, I have a dynamic pastor at our church, and um, he he was preaching the sermon. And as he was preaching, I said, I kept writing notes and I kept writing notes along the edge. Of it. I said, there's a song in there and I'm going to get it. Um, and I came home and I wrote the song. I mean, it, it's just, it's amazing how God brings things to you and, and you just have to be listening and open to that and um, just listening for his voice. And um, incidentally, this one's called when God speaks and it talks about um, what happens when God speaks and what kinds of things are um, swirling around and what kinds of things aren't there, what kinds of things are there. And, um, hey, are you listening? That's what I say in there. I say hey like several times in this, and I'm like, that's okay. Why not? Right. Okay. So um, this is what my newest song. Um, not released. I mean, the last one wasn't released either, but um, this one I just wrote, it's fresh. So, Very this, cool. Yeah. This is called When God Speaks. Hey, are you listening? Can you hear that still small voice? 
good for you. He sent his only son to die for you. Lisa Lynch right here on Red's Room with her brand new song, uh, When God Speaks. Um, Lisa, we've got some uh, people saying hello and uh, enjoying the music that you're providing tonight. So thank you for joining us and sharing. Um, you know, it's it's a good reminder in that that um, the Spirit of God is always speaking, but it's kind of like, are we listening? You know, are, are, we, are we paying attention and listening to that voice, that truth? Um, yeah, so yes, we were listening. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. There you go. To tell you. <laughs> right? There we absolutely, go. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so you mentioned just before that um, there's some things coming up, things things that are happening for you. What what's what's going on? What's um, brewing? Uh, well, I've got uh, Kevin Clark, who's who's tuning in tonight. He's uh, He's my bass player. 
Yay. Oh, nice. Yeah, he um, said beautiful song. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, thanks, Kevin. Um, <laughs> he, I sent him a couple of my newer songs, and he's like, when are we going to start recording again? And, and so I think that that's on the horizon soon. Um, nice. I'm still working on that project uh, that I was commissioned to do back in Christmas time. Uh, I've got a Christmas song that I'm working on to come out in the fall because, you know, you want to make sure it's oh. out in enough time. And um, right. the, the most exciting thing right now um, that I've been working on is I'm working on something called Kaya. I'm on team for Kaya. Um, and Kaya is a faith-based um, group of people that go to um, help in, in, go to see incarcerated youth. And they actually were on a team that's going to go for a three-day um, experience at uh, wow. Adobe Mountain, just north of here. And um, so they asked me to help with, the, with some of the music. And so um, a lot of the songs tonight that I've picked are kind of in that vein. Um, those kids up there are um, feel like they're worthless. They feel like they've been cast aside. Um, there's a dump up the street and they feel like most people think they should be there instead of even in prison. They just have no self-worth. And, um, when this Kaya group goes in and they talk to them, um, and tell them Jesus loves you, it's like mm. foreign to them. They don't even understand how can, how can anyone love me? I've always been told that I'm worth nothing, you know, um, and it's it's a really cool thing to be a part of. So that's kind of what I've been uh, doing lately. And the end of September, um, that's coming up. And um, one of the things that we do for the kids is we write notes. Um, and the notes come from all over the place. So um, a shameless plug. Not a shameless <laughs> plug, but a, a little plug. Oh, plug away. If anyone yeah. would like. Yeah. If anyone would like to write a note um, to uh, one of these, it's the boys weekend this at uh, the end of September. Um, if they can, I can send me a note on messenger and I'll send you the address to send those. But we just need some people to write encouraging notes um, to these, these boys that um, it, when they get these notes from someone they don't even know, um, it means so much to them for someone to say, I'm praying for you or um, Jesus loves you no matter what, um, you know, salvation is for you too. All of those things are really important for them to know. And um, I think, get a little crazy about it. Um, it. It's just, it's one of those things where if they can, if they can send it to me, I can give it to them and they just, and then I'll give them all the information. But um, it, it's just a really worthwhile thing um, to reach out and, and have someone from Australia that is telling you that God's, God loves you. I mean, that's, that's crazy, you know? Um, so, that's really cool. Um, yeah, if anyone wants to message me, I'm Lisa Lynch. You have to, on your paper, you have to write just your first name, but I'll tell you about it. Um, and so yeah. that's kind of where my heart's been. It's just um, been, in, been in helping them and of course, I've got this many songs to record in this much time since I work 40 hours a week and do other things. But God's going to open the he's going to open the door for me to do that soon. And, and I just have to do things in his time. And this is what the season is right now is just to help these boys know that uh, Jesus loves them, too. Mm, absolutely. So, what a great yeah. what a great ministry. That's um. Yeah, that's so cool. It's it's love that's transformative, right? When you know that you're loved, that's when you change, and 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 when when you start believing in yourself again, when you know you're loved. So, I know that um, Lisa has said on Facebook she's keen. I'm keen. Kim's also said that she's keen. Um, Red would love for you to write something on the wall for Red's room so that people can connect and and we can get this word out even further about the, the ministry. Um, so, yeah, if, if you're able to do that, that'd be great. So it means that we can kind of know where to go and other people too will, will learn about this and maybe be able to reach out and, yeah, just remind those boys of how much they're loved. So yeah. that'd be cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. All right. Um, song number three, what do we got going on? Uh, song number three, um, shout out to TJ McCormick. 
Um, this song is based on Psalm 139. Really and uh, it's called You, which is talking to God. And um, Psalm 139, uh, it just says, you search me, you know me, you hem me in, which you wouldn't think you'd hear in a, in a song, but it's you hem me in behind and before. It just, it worked with the, with the music. So um, it's ripped from scripture again, and this is You. Beautiful. Lisa Lynch right here on Red's Room. Oh 
Lisa Lynch right here on Red's Room. Lisa, that is such a beautiful song. And of course, Loving the Piano. I, um, I, I am a big piano fan, as you know. And yeah, just um, that, just the intro and the space and everything that you were able to create with, with that, that was just, loved it. Thank you for sharing that. Um, TJ says, when you play, it looks like you're dancing ever so gently. So. I am. I am. Uh, did you like the 80s chords? Oh, <laughs> I don't 80s? know. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe it's just to maybe. be the 80s chords. <laughs> uh, I like, I like, you know, it's, we can get stuck in rhythms of like the four chord thing. So it's nice to mix it up every now and then, right? That's right. That's right. Uh, 80s Kim says around. 80s back, <laughs> right? right? Yes, I love the 80s. Yeah. There you go. There you yeah. go. So how long have you, you been playing piano for? Um, I've been playing piano since I was eight, seven, eight. I was second grade. Um, I started yeah. taking lessons and I took for uh, 10, 10 years classically. Um, so I knew all the Chopin and Bach and all that. I always say I might be able to watch some Chopin, but don't make me do a convention kind of thing. Um, because... <laughs> That requires reading way too much music. Um, I play from chords right. a lot now, and I create with chords, and that's what my music looks like. Um, don't give me a full octavo. Um, <laughs> yeah. Kim, you were hilarious. Um, so, <laughs> um, anyway, I, so I played it's for a not long punny. time. Yeah, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> I've, I've, so I've played for that long and then I took a break for a little bit and then I played again at 18. I, since I knew how to play piano, I just played some um, organ at a church. They needed someone and I just did that. And then, um, yeah, I've probably 10 years been doing praise and worship at churches that need me or want me to fill in or whatever. I have never been a worship leader. I, I don't do well playing the piano and talking at the same time i can sing but don't let me talk and think of something while i'm playing <laughs> yeah it's a different kettle of fish isn't it <laughs> everyone has everyone has their gifts and that's not mine so i don't mind, I don't mind praying without t playing but i can't pray and play anyway there you go yeah fair, I know. fair. why not yeah that is cool. Well, we're super stoked um, that you're able to join us tonight. I know you've been hanging in the wings most of the night to be able to play, um, but really excited that you're here. And um, do you have one more for us? I do. I have one more that is not mine, and I don't usually do that, but here it is. I'm doing it. Yeah, um, cool. It's a song that Katie Nicole did with Big Daddy. I don't have Big Daddy Weave here, but I'm just going to sing his part. He there you said go. He said it was fine. Um, <laughs> and um, again, this is where uh, my whole journey with Kaya, this is, this God is in this story, is, it means a lot. And when you hear that song, um, it talks a lot about maybe what's going through the, bo uh, the boys that are incarcerated minds, maybe. So um, it's mm. just, it touched my heart today. And I said, well, that's what I'm going to do. So it's called Sounds God, is good. God is in the story by Katie Nicole. Beautiful. Lisa Lynch on Red's Room. Torn up pages in this book Words that tell me I'm no good Chapters that define me for so long But the hands of grace and endless love Dusted off and picked me up Told my heart that hope is never gone God is in this story Oh 
with the storm you're walking through feels like it's too much and you wonder if he even cares at all hold on tight to what you know he promised he won't let you go your song of healing's written in his scars god is in the story god is in the details If it reads like disease, he's the one who frees the prisoner, he's the healer of all things. If it reads like depression, if it reads a broken home, he's the one who holds your sorrow, he won't leave you here alone. God is in this story. Lisa Lynch, what a great song! I, I, um, you totally covered Big Daddy Weave. I, I did not miss him in that song. Oh, really? Oh, I'm on. Hello, Red. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Lisa, you got me? No. Huh. Um, it might be something on your end. I'll just read you. Uh, okay. Hello. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go into charades. Um, no, but um, a beautiful song from Lisa, just reminding us that God is in this story, um, that, you know, what, whatever our journey is, whatever we've been through, um, God, God is with us, God is in us. And as we've talked about tonight, he is the redeeming genius. So um, we are grateful for, um, for Lisa and her being here tonight. Um, I don't know what happened, but I am just, I've been thrilled to be here and I'm so happy I was able to share with you and I don't know what happened at the end, but maybe we're just hey. going to be done with that. I don't know. So there we go. Again, and I'm so happy to see you, Vanessa. And I love your sign that says here, because now you know where you are. That's right. Never lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I am here on uh, all the major music platforms. They can find me on Spotify, um, Apple Music, um, Deezer, iHeartRadio, all of them. Um, there we go. And uh, but you're only going to find about twelve or thirteen of my forty-one songs. So I'll get more out there. Um, uh, there's uh, several that are more upbeat that have my, the band 
together with me. Kevin's the bass player. And um, they rock. So you can check those out. Uh, Kim, if you like 80s, you're going to love a couple of my uh, more upbeat songs. So catch me on Spotify or I'm on YouTube as well. So, um, again, I've just been thrilled to, to be here again on Red's Room. And I thank Red for everything he does uh, for Christian artists and um, everyone that tunes in because... Um, it is nice to have an audience, even though it's on Zoom. It's nice to be able to um, sing the songs and be able to share them with people that may or may, or may not have tuned into to Red's Room um, and will hear something that touches their heart or gives them a different perspective about what God's love is all about for them. So thank you again for having me. Thank you so much, Lisa. It's uh, been great to see you again. 